That's the Golden Gate Bridge. We are here in San Francisco, California. We're going to sit down with one of the NFL's bright young stars, Miami Dolphins safety, Javon Holland, born and raised in British Columbia. He did play his high school football right here in the Bay. We're going to chat with him about his unique skill set as a free safety in today's NFL. And Javon Holland, he's been all over the place. He watched Javon Holland, number eight. Looking up beautiful in the coverage by Javon Holland. Cam Newton has a moment, but he's intercepted. It's Javon Holland. And the play made by Holland, who just seems to get better and better every week. You got the nickname Snowman, which is, I think, that's a that's a top five nickname. Sure, where where yeah. that, uh, the guys call you that in Miami, where'd that come from? So, obviously, the eight looks like a snowman emoji right. on the iPhone. I mean, that's right. that was like a given. And then, of course, I'm from Canada, so it was like that's where it snows all the time. So it just it just fits. When's the snowman merch coming out? Mer mer it, it merch, fun. merch coming soon. Merch coming soon. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for some snowman merch coming yeah, to you. Yeah. Stay soon. tuned for sure. For sure. For those who don't know, your skill set is you're a unicorn at what you could do. Watching you in the middle of the field, you're very confident in your transition. Uh, where where is that coming from? It's mostly coming from pre snap pre-snap confidence, like understanding my job, what I have to do, and then I'm like watching the quarterback's mannerisms. And that comes like through, throughout the week, how he likes to drop, what's the situation. A lot of the times QBs will give their tails like when they're dropping back and they're looking left and right and left and right in the drop back. A lot of that is BS because they're not, their feet aren't set, they're not ready to throw. You know Javon Holland's gonna sit on that route right in the perfect position. It can't be easy to have to run in, in phase with a guy like Jalen Waddle. You either got speed or you're chasing him. No. Or Tyreek. Cheetah! Cheat coming again! And then have the confidence to, to look back and play the ball. Yeah. You gotta really understand <laughs> speed, bro. Electrifying, blazing speed! If it's a regular receiver, like somebody that's not like blazing fast, I would just, you know, be patient on my pedal, let him eat my cushion a little bit, and then I would transition and I would turn and run right when he's, you know, next to me, so I'm in phase. Right. Like, but with with Tyreek and, and Dub, it's like. You have to speed that up, that process up early. We run in plays, we back have emotion, back have emotion. Turn the camera off. Who's, fa who's faster? Uh, is Cheetah that much faster? Because Waddle, oh, yeah, yeah. Waddle, Waddle, when I watch him, he's, he can flat go. He can go. He can go. You can't afford to let this guy get going like that. He's too quick, so fast. So Jalen Waddle can't run like in the same world as oh, Tyreek. Yeah. He's that oh, fast, yeah, right? Sure. That's yeah, what yeah, folks don't realize. Yeah, they don't, they don't realize how fast he is. Am I wrong for saying this? Is he getting in on the breaks? He might get think, in out. I think Dove is a better route runner. Right. And Jalen Waddle. Tyreek yeah. is just, yeah. he's just faster. We run in plays. We back have emotion. Back have emotion. Javon has a gift when it comes to defensive concepts and understanding how and where offenses want to attack. He's gained this knowledge through countless hours of studying game film. Here's what jumped out to me. This is why I wanted to pull this play up. You watch right before the snap. This looks to everyone that's looking at this, as I looked at it, I said, this is too high. It's a too high shell. You're too deep. And that's what you're trying to do. And then just as just before Kenny snaps the ball, what, what do you do? Is a little bit of body movement. What are you doing? Yeah, just, just a little bit of shoulder movement. I know that I can see him seeing me. I'm dropping, like, drop my back, my outside foot back. Your shoulder movement going back for what reason? Right. To just, show... just to try to show the too high. Just right. try to give me believable. Because before the snap, Q QBs have to look down and grab the ball. Like, a lot of the time, if they just kind of, like, try to perif it, they'll drop it. So before the snap or when the ball's be right before on the way, they're going to be checking me or checking the other safety. Because, like, right now, he looks wide open. Wide open. And he's staring his guy down. He's not going anywhere else. He know he sees the backer push out, and yeah. that's why he, he turns his shoulders that way, because he wants the look backer. Look at all this area in the exactly. middle that's open. So the defense is on the string. Wherever the QB looks, the, the underneath coverage moves with it, right? And then after that, I was like, oh, yeah, that's mine. Boom. Kick it in the middle, he's intercepted! And the safety, Javon Holland, took it away! I will go on record and say there's not a safety in the league that has better feet than you and better hips than you do. And I will say that, and, and your dad, has great feet and great hips, so yeah. I don't know if you can take all the credit for it. I, I, yeah, I definitely, I definitely can. It definitely can. Some, some came through genetics. You know, not the hair, but definitely the feet came not through the, the genetics. Not the for hair sure. for sure. <laughs> Javon's pedigree comes from his pops, Robert Holland, a relentless worker who spent seven seasons in the CFL at DB. Rob started training athletes in Vancouver after retiring, including Javon. Last one, Javon. Strike and rip. Strike and rip. Beautiful. It's what we do. Get with Program, the rip, baby. 
and the work on the field continues to this day. Coach Rob Holland, Javon Holland, we talked about the transition. So what's some of the stuff that you guys do to kind of get to where you are in your, in your transition, which is so key in any DB position in the NFL? I remember him on, on several occasions, like, okay, we're gonna start with this in and out drip. Take your hips, we're gonna take your hips. With the feet, with the feet, with the feet. Too you remember doing this stuff at that at that oh, age? Yeah, I was young. I was young. Yeah, again and again. He's like, are we doing that drill again? Yeah, we're doing that drill again. And it, it put him in a body posture and what we call the sort of the athletic, the athletic right. position from right. this position right. is a position which all sports flow. I'm a quarterback, I'm a running back, I'm a linebacker, I'm shooting free throws, I'm playing baseball, I'm a shortstop. The whole time you're pedaling and moving, you're in, your body position and posture right. is anticipating your next break. Right. Obviously in cover four, like I'm off 10 yards, right? I might be, you know, flat footed, flat foot read, but I'm I'm square to the line because I know that any break in front of me is gonna happen in front of me, like I said, so I'll be breaking downhill. But as he progresses up the field, there's certain routes that get canceled. The slant gets canceled, you know, the five yard out gets canceled. So then it gets to routes where now they can they can push my leverage and eat my cushion, make me uncomfortable, and then you still run it out, still run it in. So I'm still in a position where I'm not necessarily full speed sprint with him but i am lateral enough to be able to break in a in a positive angle because my chest is facing that way almost picked off by holland the ball's going to him it's not going to me so if i'm closer to him then the ball's going to come to me you know what i'm saying and at that point then it's just about who wants the ball more up cam newton has a moment but he's intercepted it's javon holland hey thank you so much for your time man. amazing no amazing problem, man. love it Right appreciate on. you. Of course, of course. Pops. That was awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.